Hey, what's up everybody? It's that guy, Skimpy. Today, we're going to be modifying a football jig. My buddy John hit me up and said, Hey, Skimp, can you modify a football jig so you can use a Gamagatsu skip gap hook? So I uh, did a little bit of research um, and I found out that, you know what, it is possible and we're gonna try it today. And I'm pretty excited for this because those skip gap hooks are awesome. You know that little <laughs> that little deal on the uh, on the back of the hook holds the uh, the bait a lot. And I figured, you know what, John, you're onto something. So we're gonna we're gonna try this. So like I said, I've been doing a lot of research, and I figured out kind of how we're going to do it. We're going to have to make our own um, wire forms. I try to buy, I think it's four different wire forms that I try to buy that it, it just did not work for it. So I figured, you know what, we're going to have to make our own wire forms to make this work. And I'm pretty excited about this. So hopefully it works. And uh, man, I'm going to take you along on the process. So you know what? Let, let's do it. Let's see if we can make this work. All right. That guy's skimpy. Okay, so here's the mold. It's the football with screw lock. And uh, this is the one we're gonna use. Okay, so here's the, uh, the skip gap hooks. I'm gonna do the three yacht. Okay, so what you're gonna do next is you're gonna take a hook and you're gonna place it exactly where you want it. And then uh, the next step is you're gonna close the mold and you're gonna squeeze it super tight. Um, I'm actually gonna put it in a vise. And then uh, what it's gonna do is it's gonna leave a mark and then you'll know where to Dremel. All right, so I don't know if you can tell, but it left a little mark. And that's where we're gonna know where to Dremel. All right, as you can see, I Dremeled it. see right where I dremeled it is exactly where I want the hook it's that simple so now it's time to make the wire form from from here to there I just realized that I did not film the actual Dremel process I apologize about that but this is the Dremel that I use Dremel 3000 this is the attachment it uh, came in the kit with it so I didn't have to buy it so I apologize if uh, you don't know which one this is but it's just a little ball at the end here and what I did is I just when I clamped the mold tight and it left the marks I just pretty much traced it with this and uh, I will tell you um, go ahead and just make small cuts at a time don't try to just go super deep at first just make a couple cuts and then place the hook in there and then if the mold shuts completely then you did it enough if not you know dremel a little bit more put the hook in there if it sh if it doesn't shut completely then dremel a little bit more so my best advice is just do a little bit at a time until the hook fits in there and when you close the mold with the hook in there that it's flush so i had to go ahead and put the uh jw jig <laughs> after my boy john 
a shout out to my boy John for giving me the idea to go ahead and make this um, yes sir it's you can tell I dremeled each one on this side man I'm not gonna lie man I kind of kind of messed up there but it still works here I kind of messed up but it still works I just wanted to make sure that the jig fit or excuse me the hook fit perfect but yeah this side came out great <laughs> this side doesn't look the greatest but it still works and the hook still fits in there that's right the JW jig alright so I bought the one step looper Hobby Lobby $23.99 man it makes a perfect loop it's gonna make my wire forms here okay I'm gonna try to get this on film hopefully you can see it here okay so this is just a little piece of 19 gauge stainless steel wire okay so the first step is we're gonna bend it in half so I have these little bending pliers and what I do is I just kind of bend it like that okay so now we're gonna take this all right so we're gonna do something different how it's intended to use this is there's a hole in the back and you put the wire through this and then it makes just a loop on one end and then straight well that's not what we want we want it to be bent in half so that's why we already uh, just bent it in half here and then, sorry let me put it in so you got to kind of squeeze it a little bit and then it goes in well so um, if you just squeeze like this sometimes what happens is is the wire will bend over on itself so what I do is I take a pair of pliers sorry I take a pair of pliers and I hold it. And when you hold it, it helps to not bend over on itself and get a better loop there. So let's see if we can get it. Okay. So it, sometimes it gets more on one side. So what I do is I just flip it around and do it again. Oops, sorry. And then it works perfect um, not every time does it do that on one side a lot of the times it just makes it perfect on the first go around but sometimes you got to do it twice so anyways yeah man that's it I've uh, made a bunch of them already yes sir so the next step to this is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of lay it in the mold and kind of figure out exactly you know how long I want it you know I, I'm doing three different sizes of these footballs I'm doing uh, what is it three eighths half and five eighths I believe but anyways I'm gonna kind of set it in the in the mold with uh, with the hook in there and it will kind of show me how long I want it and I just take a little sharpie on there and that way I can cut it but on one side I'm gonna leave it a little bit longer because what I want to do is I want to uh, make a bend on this side and the reason I want to make that bend is because I want to be able to put the hook there and the hook will stay on the form uh, just gives me a little bit more confidence knowing that the hook is connected to the form in the lid all right so uh, yeah let's get to the the bending part okay as you can see I got the hook where I want it I got the wire form where I want it so I'm trying to do this with one hand so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of put a little line here and that way I know where to cut it all right so here's the form I made and if you notice I have a bend on that end and then here's the hook eye so I'm gonna take the hook and thread it through the wire form and then set it in the mold I'll show you what it looks like all right so here it is the hook eye goes right there and then I have the wire form wrapped around the hook eye so that's pretty much it J 
just for demonstration purposes. This is the, the 5 8 and um, it fits in that one too. And then we'll slide it over to the 3 8 here. There, we'll put you down. All right, so there it is in the 3 8 Oh, it's not in there all the way, but. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. So yeah, it fits in that one too. So if the same wire form you make will fit in all of them, it looks like. Got a bunch made. They're all about the same size. Same shape. I tested it, I put every single one in the mold to verify that it would fit. Yeah, man, this is gonna come out awesome. Okay, just poured one. Gonna clean up the eye a little bit. Success. Okay, they came out pretty well. I would say the only thing is, is on the hook, on the wire form there, little bit of build up so I got to take a file to it but not too bad other than that and they came out great like I said just a, oh, actually that one came out good but let me see Here, you can tell look at that one oh shaking a little bit but yeah other than where the wire form is a little bit of lead that I got to clean up man they came out pretty dang clean man Yes, sir. The JW jig, full effect. All right. Success. They came out awesome. That's the five eighths. That's the half, and then this is the three uh, three eighths. The three eighths and the half. Every single one of them poured beautiful, like exactly how you wanted every time that being said the 5 8 I was having a little bit of issues with it's probably because of my Dremel skills which I don't have that much Dremel skills so um, I ended up getting it to work but I, I, I don't know I, it, like I said it worked I'm not super happy with it but um, maybe the wire form needed to be just a little bit longer I'm, I'm not sure but i was having a few issues with it and uh i had i mean it's not that bad i mean out of 25 of them i had two mess ups so i guess that's not too bad but like i said the five eights is the only issue i had um like i said i ended up getting it to work but uh yeah john you knocked it out the box with this idea. Fantastic idea. The more and more I poured them, the more I love the idea. You know, having the skip gap benefits you. You know, the the bait will stay on there better. Amazing idea, man. I want to do more and more stuff like this. So if you guys have any ideas, you let me know and I'll try to make it work. Like I said, John, this is the official JW jig named after you. This was your idea. Uh, the reason I'm not painting these up is because me and John, you know, we had to sit down and we talked about colors and stuff. And that's his business, man. We're not going to talk about the colors that he wanted. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to show the jig. So if you want to make some of these JW jigs, just follow the instructions. If you got any questions or comments or you want to just drop a line or whatever, hit me up, thatguyskimpy at gmail.com. All right, guys. Hey, I appreciate everybody watching. I appreciate the subscribers, the comments, the likes, the shares, everything, man. I appreciate you guys all. Hey, that guy skimpy. Big shout out Dual Molds. Big shout out to Victory Hooks. Big shout out to CS Coatings. 
Big shout out to Bait Blast. And you know what? I'm going to give a big shout out to Gamagatsu because those hooks are awesome. All right, guys. That guy Skimpy. Please subscribe.